But nevertheless, a frustrating weekend where he hit three posts combined in Toronto and Ottawa. We're underway with Nugent Hopkins alongside McDavid and 50 goal man Zach Hyman. Matias Ekholm and Evan Bouchard. He got a shot away that was stopped and then a backhander sifted wide by McLeod. Tyler Toffoli also with 30 this year up the right hand side. Crossing Ehlers and Jack denied. And Skinner sharp early. He's playing his 900th game tonight. Adam Henry down the right hand side. A dish, an open man, and a quick shot taken by Niederreiter. Trying to stop the rebound. Hold three of their last 12. Off the draw. A wrist shot by Morrissey. That pinballed into the corner. Oilers had a dreadful time on the penalty kill in Ottawa and Toronto. They gave up four goals combined. One timer ripped by Shanklin. A tremendous save with nine stops. None better than this one. Losing the last three of the recent road trip. We've got Rick Bonus behind the bench tonight. Now we've got a fight to fight. Big man. And they're going to go. Logan Stanley and Corey Perry toe to toe. Perry has them strung out. Stanley misses with a couple of chopping rights. Perry biding his time, trying to get that right hand free. Stanley again short with the right hand. Six foot seven, Logan Stanley. That time he landed. A right hook, a glancing blow, misses with the left. Perry caught him with the right. Stanley has the right hand free, lands a couple of chopping rights. No major damage, misses again with an overhand right. And Corey Perry did well to duck under some of those big right hooks. Ripped off the stick, you're going to see this little whack into the hands. He gets in the body, he grabs it, throws away a heavy hit into the corner, and it's like, okay, you want to do this, let's do it. And he takes on the giant Corey Perry. I mean, he's a little bit longer of a reach. Face off one, blasted by a Cobrino. Diving save made on Hyman by Connor Hellebach. Sent in deep by Ehlers. Around the boards, Brendan Dillon. Redirected off the pads of Skinner by Ehlers. And another good save by Stuart Skinner. Going out the other side from Nugent Hopkins. He had Hellebach wrong footed. Now Monaghan the other way. Shoots off the post. Winnipeg's also got the third toughest strength of schedule remaining, so winning that Central Division head-to-head -to -head against Colorado and Dallas, who've been playing well, should be a tall order. Edmonton remains second place in the Pacific. Got some help, if you want to call it that, from L.A. last night beating Vancouver. But then again, the Kings are sitting just one point behind the Oilers, even though Edmonton does have two games in hand, one of which is tonight. Of course, Edmonton and L.A. tangle. You and I will have that one as Edmonton returns home Thursday night at Rogers Place. It's Nurse to Fogel. He's in to the net back door to save Hellebach as Dreisaitl unable to finish. Forced out wide, shot Nurse, save Hellebach. Rebound cleared off glass and that glanced perfectly to Adam Lowry. Helps to know the bounces in your own building. Kyle Connor shot, got through, rebound score. And the game's first. Went right to Appleton, and he made no mistake for his 14th. 1 0, Winnipeg. McDavid, he can't quite get there. This puck around the wall takes a funny hop to the middle, and it's Lowry that breaks out with Kyle Connor. Just a little delay, and he zips this one towards the net with Lowry funneling through as a little bit of a screen. And in a game like this where it's so tightly contested, I mean, right there off the toe, and then Appleton is right there to jam it home for a win. Nick Ehlers back and okay. His pass intercepted, and now Evander Kane's going to break away to tie it tonight. A second time, twice on Evander Kane. Perfetti, one of those young Jets. From whom big things are expected. A big hit, Brendan Dillon sent Corey Perry into the bench. Perry came back with a chop. And now we're gonna have a fight. Darnell Nurse. Couple of right hands early. From Dillon, now a few left jabs. Nurse biding his time. Second fight of this game. Right to the body from Dillon. Right hook from Nurse, glancing blow, and now Nurse lands a left jab, little short with a right hook. Dylan misses a right, and then a big right hand from Darnell Nurse, and he wrestles him to the ice. 
Bouchard punches it up the middle. McDavid starting to assert himself in the second period. Beautiful pass. Fogel to try to settle. The game is tied. Edmonton off the rush gets the equalizer. And Dreisaitl now has scored 21 goals. Good backtrack by Connor. Good strong move by McDavid. A little button hook he draws. Two jets to him. And a little give and go. Puts it back to Fogel. Fogel to Dreisaitl. And Dreisaitl just great patience. Once he picks up this puck. And I think Fogel maybe for a second had Hellebuck kind of thinking he was going to. Back home. Wrap around. And that one off a skate. Kicked out. Oilers have 16 shots in this period as compared to four for Winnipeg. Echo into the zone. Brown and shot scores! Connor Brown, the go ahead goal! Two to one, Edmonds hit on Brown's third of the year! You talked about the McDavid backtrack disrupted just enough that bobbling puck. This is a laser by Connor Brown. Jumps off the bench for a good shift, hands a stick back into the bench and says, get open. And it's the shot mentality for... Well, and for me, the turnaround point in this game was when McDavid makes the defensive play on Niederreiter at one end and triggers the game-time goal at the other. Connor Brown followed with the one that Gene showed you moments later, and Edmonton takes a 2-1 lead. Winnipeg would have such mediocre special teams units, but... It's been the five-on-five five play, and their depth scoring and Hellebuck that's carried him. McDavid back door, hammered home. Nugent Hopkins off the stride. Power play goal to extend Edmonton's lead to three to one. He's been sniffing around it again, hasn't he, Jack? Just and you mentioned he's doing other things, playing real solid defensively, making great plays. A defensive conscience, but you know what? You go this long without scoring a goal, anybody starts to get a little agitated. You can see a little frustration from Nugent Hopkins. This is a great pass. Winning percentage in the central. One timer off the post. Nader Rider set up by Shifley. He's had some great looks tonight. Hasn't capitalized. Shifley, one timer score. And the Jets have much need. But work down low in the offensive zone. A couple of opportunities by Edmonton. There's the post from Niederreiter in the high slot. This line's been good. And Niederreiter's been good in this game. Finding some chances. And that shot with eyes from the blue line. Shifley finds Dylan the one-timer double screen. Call it a quad screen. He's got the most difficult one out of the way in the goal. The easiest one out of the fight. And the second hardest one assist to go. <laughs> if he completes the Gordy Howe. But a pretty good night for Dylan. He was set at home in front. This game is tied. The Jets get two quick ones. Yeah, that's a perfect tip by Sean Monaghan in front of the net. Ehlers and walks to the middle. And then just sips it through. You know, he looks up, he on the forehand, and he just kind of changes the angle, and it somehow gets through all of those bodies in a perfect little redirection by Monaghan. Sends it in deep. Leon Drysuttle can't get it out. He'll pin it. He'll shovel it over to Vinny D'Arnais, and we're going to have overtime at the Canada Life Center. Drysuttle scored the Edmonton goal the last time the Oilers were in OT. That was at the expense of the Montreal Canadiens, came on the power play. Lowry off the faceoff, grappling for puck possession, and McDavid, his <laughs> second effort, able to flick it all the way back to Evan Bouchard. Smart play. Now Bouchard under duress, able to protect against Lowry. Up the boards, looking for McDavid to steal. Josh Morrissey rushes the puck in. Over to Lowry, one time to save Stuart Skinner. More than a minute into overtime, here's Kyle Connor attacking Drysaddle. Hitting to the net, and Drysaddle able to stay with him and create a turnover. Now Nugent Hopkins, one on two, Drysaddle will change. Here comes Zach Hyman. Nugent Hopkins gives it to him. Hyman for the win, the back end. Rebound score! Zach Hyman, the winner! Four, three, Edmonton in overtime! And then as they go for a change, a couple bodies, it's Zach Hyman that jumps on the ice fresh, takes it to the middle, hard backhand, follow-up forehand. Good first save by Hallibuck, but Hyman, as he often does, 
funnels to the net after the first shot and chips home the game winner in overtime. His 200th of his career and 51st of the year. Moving alongside Sam Reinhardt of Florida.